Hello, my friends. How do you decide your social media strategy and which of all the amazing social media different networks is the right one for you or the right two or the right three for you? It can get crazy trying to figure out if you're an entrepreneur or business person, trying to figure out where to put your time and energy and focus <clears throat> in social media. And tonight I want to talk about it. Let's figure out what's the best for you and how do you create a strategy and which social media channel should you use? I'm Arian Alexander and I'm the Rock Your Life Coach and I work with female entrepreneurs all over the world in supporting them in building their business and transforming their lives in the most amazing way. And so obviously a huge part of this right now is social media and figuring out how to do social media well. So if you're out there tonight and you're obviously on social media right now and I'm sure you're on another social media network, how do you know what's right for your business? So we're gonna dive in and, and talk about the different social media sites and talk about which one's the best for you and feel free to uh, share what your favorite social media channel is and how you like to use it and any questions you have. So really what we're talking about tonight is all the different social media sites. Um, and of course, Facebook, we're basically gonna focus on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now Snapchat, and a little bit of Pinterest too, because <clears throat> Pinterest is actually huge, and most people don't even, lots of people don't even realize this for their businesses. So we're on Facebook, and I think Facebook Live is the most amazing thing on the planet for anyone who has a business or is an entrepreneur or just um, is alive, because Facebook Live is the most amazing way to share your message and share your energy with your audience, um, whomever that is, because they can get to know you immediately through live videos. And that's why live videos are so important right now with anyone, any of you watching who are building your business. Because people will only know you, trust you, and like you um, when they can feel you, when they really get who you are. And that's why videos are awesome because we immediately get your energy. We immediately know who you are. We immediately know if we want to um, watch more, or if we want to do business with you or not do business with you. Does that make sense? So let's talk about the differences between all the different social media sites. So Facebook is kind of like this. Um, Facebook is like your friends. You kind of invited them to your house and you have conversations and you know mostly on Facebook it's kind of a pretty picture of what you're presenting and and there doesn't have to be pictures. There can be words and and that's one thing I really want you to understand that the more visual content you can always create to get your message out, the better. Because we're all visual learners. Um, and I really expect, and we all see in pictures, but I would say even more so men. Men see in pictures so much, and so much more visual than women are sometimes. But we all have this creative right brain, uh, right, right, is this side, right brain that sees in pictures and sees in visuals. So some of us, um, you can see this in the way you learn. If you had to like see the, the um, teacher write it on the board instead of reading it from a book, then you know you're more of a visual learner. And some of us are audio learners. So you have to understand that you're always um, talking to all kinds of different people. And so you've got to kind of use all the different ways that people learn in order to get your message across, no matter what that message is, whether it's a personal message or it's your message in business. But so specifically, I, I work with entrepreneurs. So I'm always focusing on how to get the business messages across. So Facebook, you have a choice of either text, which um, I would say most people just do text, and then obviously you can add pictures, and then you can add video, and you can also do live video. So you have all kinds of options. But on Facebook, you see that kind of people put on a pretty front, like everything's great, everything's so awesome in life, and everything's fabulous. When we know that's not actually the case all the time, um, you know, everyone has challenges and everything like that, but Facebook's kind of a pretty face. And then we have um, Twitter, and Twitter's like a cocktail party. It's just like we're going to this cocktail party, and we're like, oh, I'm gonna talk to that person for a little bit. Oh, and then I'm here something over here, and I'm gonna go meet this person, and I'm gonna talk to them a little bit, because um, it's, a really, it's a really fun way to engage, but it's all pretty much um, text-based. They do have visuals now. They do, you can put video, because they're, they're seeing, they're, you know, have to create content that will, um, what do I call it, Could compete with Facebook and Instagram. So they're adding videos, you know, and Twitter owns Periscope. So you have to like see who owns what. Facebook and Instagram are aligned. Twitter and Periscope are aligned. So Twitter's like a cocktail party. You just dive into a conversation for a little bit, have a chit chat, then you come out and you dive in with somebody else. And then Instagram is all visual. Obviously Instagram is all pictures. So it's mostly the visual aspect and this is where brands are really seeing um, their business 
expand is from Instagram because it's so visual because Instagram isn't like Facebook you come onto Facebook and you've got like five other things on your you know your Facebook wall you've got your feed and then you've got news and then you got friends and you got birthdays and you got all these choices when you come to Facebook which is awesome because there's a lot of things to do on Facebook but it's not concentrated so Instagram is concentrated you have one picture one at a time in your feed so you scroll down your feed and you see the picture and you see the words so you're kind of more concentrated for that moment on Instagram. It, your, your mind isn't spread all over the place. Does that make sense? So you can actually focus a little bit more on Instagram and that's why brands love it because it's visual content. They get a lot of engagement because people are a little more focused on Instagram. And then um, the pictures are really awesome on Instagram too because people are getting really creative in what they're doing with pictures and with filters and all kinds of cool stuff. So, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now we have the new uh, new player in town, Snapchat. And Snapchat is like a free-for-all. It's like so much fun. It's really behind the scenes. You know, Snapchat started for, let's call it a younger experience, 18 to 24. And that's really their core audience. Um, pretty much most of their core audience is between the ages of 18 and 35, with the majority of it being 18 to 24. So it's definitely a younger audience. And it's um, the reason it's so fun and the reason people love Snapchat is because it is behind the scenes, because it's candid and in the moment. And that's important for people because they can actually um, see who you truly are. So with Snapchat, you know, we're not like posing, I mean, you can be posing, but it's so in the moment that you really get to feel for who a person is from their Snapchat. Now, it's not, um, Snapchat's not super, super great yet for building a business because it's um, it's hard to find people. It's not user friendly and like if I wanted to find you on Snapchat, I would have to go to your website and figure out your Snapchat name, search for it. It's kind of confusing on Snapchat. There's not an easy way to find people and um, so you can't really search for people. So that's why it's kind of hard. So it's not super user friendly as far as building your brand yet because unless you're like a celebrity or a huge brand where people are automatically gonna come in and follow you on Snapchat, it's, it doesn't work as well for people to find you. Because obviously in Facebook, I can just put your name in the search bar and find you. I'll find your personal page, I'll find your business page, right? Um, same for Instagram, same for Twitter. But Snapchat, it doesn't work that way yet. I'm sure it will soon because they have to make it more user friendly. Um, but Snapchat's awesome because it is so behind the scenes and it's so candid and people can really feel you and get to know who you truly are from your snaps and people love that to see what life is truly like a slice of life so it's super fun too so the four we're talking about tonight like I said are Facebook Twitter Instagram and snapchat Pinterest I'm not um, I'm not super well versed on, on Pinterest so I'm not gonna speak too much of it but I don't know if you know this but Pinterest is one of the biggest search engines in the world it's it's of course we obviously know Google is the highest but Pinterest and YouTube are right up there because people go search on Pinterest for all kinds of things so if you do have a business or are building your business if you choose it is important to have a platform on Pinterest as well because it is used as a search engine like Twitter's not a search engine people aren't searching for if you need um call like if you need to figure out how to paint your house or whatever you don't go to Twitter and search how to paint your house you might go to Facebook and search how to paint your house you're obviously gonna go on Google and search how to paint your house but you might go on Pinterest and find like do-it-yourself ways to paint your house you see it in YouTube you might go on YouTube and try to find a video of how to paint your house that's why Pinterest and YouTube are such amazing search engines because they've got all kinds of content in there and resources that people are going to so a lot of people don't even understand that that YouTube and Pinterest are not just uh, social media destinations they're actually search engines as well which is really important so what social media platform you're going to use um, I'm just so give you my experience um, I love Facebook because for me Facebook is my generation <laughs> uh, it's it's my peeps it's where my demographic lives and let's not forget the largest social media platform in the world is Facebook the billions of people that are on Facebook they're not necessarily on snapchat they're for sure not on snapchat yet they're not necessarily on Instagram they're not necessarily on Twitter Facebook is still the humongous you know winner in social media so pretty much everyone's on Facebook you know so if you're you're looking for your target audience for your demographic in your business they're gonna be here and if you are doing a business using Facebook for your business you can specifically target Facebook ads so tight so specific to your demographic because everyone is here 
So it's kind of, Facebook is always, it's, it's so relevant. It's going to continue to be relevant. And then um, I'll talk about the other ones in a minute. Yeah. If you're more of an executive business person, you got to have a fully f formed um, LinkedIn profile because that's the place for, you know, business people basically. And, and there's so many awesome groups on LinkedIn that you can get into. And so it's definitely, if you're, you know, hustling in your business and you're a business person in that world, you gotta get hustling on LinkedIn because it is where your people are hanging out. So then. what, um, okay, so Twitter, why would you use Twitter? Well, Twitter is a great way to um, re really reach people across the world in different ways and build relationships because you can, um, for instance, you could create a target list of, let's say you're in business as a health and a health and fitness expert. Okay, so I have some clients who are health and fitness, fitness experts. So what I would have them do is find the people that they want to connect with on Twitter. Find the other people in their field or, or a, you know, that are already more advanced in their career or other people that they want to um, maybe do programs with that are other different types of coaches and find them on Twitter. And you can create a list in Twitter and you can really just concentrate on that list, like 10 people and, and start following them and start retweeting them and start qu you know, quoting and commenting on their tweets. And you really start building a relationship on Twitter because... It's like a cocktail party. So you think of Twitter just like you would go to a cocktail party. And how would you build relationships at a cocktail party? You chat, you compliment, you share things, you share content. You're like, oh, I know this really cool restaurant down the street. Oh, I love this artwork. Here, let me send you a link to it. Just like you do at a cocktail party. So that's really how you use Twitter is you, you jump in and out of these conversations that are kind of flowing all day long and you can build a relationship with people. And I have clients who have built amazing relationships with people through Twitter by, just like I said, by following them, by retweeting them, by quoting them, by you know commenting on the work that they're doing. And then they've met in real life and done business together. So Twitter is amazing. Instagram, let's talk about Instagram. Um, Instagram is so great for, uh, like I said, the visual communication. So the more that you can share your, um, essence on Instagram since it is all visual videos and photos you know when I glance at someone's Instagram if I go to their Instagram page and I kind of get an, a glance at their photos and their videos I really get a feel for who they are and what their business is about because if they're all uh, I think when you kind of glance at Instagram you can see like 12 pictures if all 12 pictures are like I don't know them partying or something I mean they're probably not someone that I'm gonna hang out and do business with but if they have a mixture of of, of great quotes from something or pictures of them at different events or selfies from them just having you know in their life or with their clients then I really get a feel for who they are and Instagram is a place where people um, let's call it aspire that, that's a good word to think about Instagram where people kind of aspire to be does that make sense yes it's important on Instagram to create your brand what do your pictures look like you want to um, think of Instagram if you're using it for your business as like uh, the visual, the visuals of your brand. So if I think of your brand, so what does that look like? What is your brand? What are you going to, what does your brand feel like? And you get to tell me that story in your pictures and your videos on Instagram. And this is funny. So one of my friends, one of my good friends, she um, grabs my phone and she's like, oh, let me see your Instagram account. And she clicks on it and she like looks at my, you know, call it 12 pictures or videos that are up there. And she goes, oh my God, you look like you're a super famous star. And I started laughing. I was like, good, I like that. <laughs> That's kind of what I want to portray in all areas of life. Because <laughs> I have a mix of pictures. I have like picture quotes and um, um, I have pictures of me with clients and doing, you know, client th coaching things. And I have pictures of me from red carpet things and when I'm hosting the TV show that I host. So I have a mix of my brand, which is all you know, all the different things that I do. So when you're creating your Instagram posts, it's something to think about of what do you want to portray? If I'm getting a visual, like a, if I'm getting a vision board, a picture board of your brand and your business, what is it? And that's what you always want to be um, curating content for on Instagram. So oh, the other one I want to talk about is Snapchat. And if you have a business or you're an entrepreneur, you got to do Facebook Live. I know it's scary. I know it's scary, but I'm going to do a whole series on Facebook Live because I'm so think it's just the best way to build your business. So um, I'm going to do a whole video series on that. So that stay tuned for that. Facebook Live is we get to feel you. We get to connect with you. And that's really all we want in business and entrepreneurs and with people that we want to do business with. We want to feel you. We want to really know you. And, and that's why video is so important right now. So back to Snapchat. If I 
love Snapchat. It is the most fun, hilarious thing because they have all these filters and if you're not in there, just go on there and just start playing with it and you'll see how fun it is. And it really is cool to get a behind the scenes look at people's lives. Um, I have a bunch of friends on there and I follow some celebrities and it's awesome because I get to see kind of the realness of what happens in life instead of on Facebook and Instagram, we put kind of the glossy photos up of like, our life's amazing. And on, on Snapchat, we kind of get the behind the scenes. So it's really fun and it's really cool. Now again, I'm not gonna say it's awesome to build your brand because it's just not big enough yet. Unless you're like 18 and you know, in a boy band, <laughs> then it's awesome. But for, um, it's just more to like share who you are and to have fun. And it is, it's great, it's super fun. But if your demographic is over, you know, call it, 30, it's, it's really not your peeps there yet. I think it will be. It's moving that way. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's definitely time to get on Snapchat and get to know it and to use it if you like it. And then it's going to continue to build. Does that make sense? So, all right. So we've gone through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I touched on LinkedIn, touched on Pinterest. Um, so what are your favorites? And let's talk about how to choose what to use. So my advice is, Choose the one that you like the best. Choose the one, or two, choose two, call it two. It's best to have two, because they're so different, that you like the best. And where you're gonna be consistent. Because the most important thing in social media and getting your message out and building your brand and building your business in social media is being consistent. Because if you post once a week, I don't get to know who you are. I don't get to know what the, your brand is about, and I might never see your post. Because remember, in all of these feeds, they're just going like this. Facebook has, an, has all these algorithms that I don't even know if I'll see any of your stuff because they basically like choose, you know, who I'm going to see. I mean, I can go in and put like exactly who I want. But the algorithm of Facebook, they kind of change all the time. And, you know, you can't guarantee that your posts are going to get seen all the time. So you kind of have to post a couple times a day on Facebook to make sure that you're seen by some people. Um, if you're doing it through a Facebook page, it's different because you can do ads and that's different. But we're talking just kind of about personal page and, and regular posting on a business page right now. Um, Twitter and Instagram, the same thing. It goes so fast, the feeds go so fast that your stuff gets buried. So the half-life of your social media posts is like nothing. Like Twitter, I think it's one to two minutes. Facebook, it might be one to two hours. Instagram, I maybe split the difference. So the half-life of your, your posts isn't that long. So you really, if you're building your brand and building your business, you got to be consistent. And that's so important. So at least once a day, if not twice a day, you're posting on whatever platform you're on. Twitter, it can be more because it goes so fast. So the strategy is I encourage you to pick two social media platforms that you will be consistent on and be committed to that and really figure out what your strategy is. So like I say, if you're going to choose, and I really encourage you all to just keep Facebook as one of them because Again, Facebook is the biggest and your, your customers are here, period. So um, Facebook, so if you're um, posting on Facebook, do it two times a day. You can auto post, you can um, you know, use scheduling systems to post your things. So if you love uh, Facebook, I recommend you do twice a day. Uh, Instagram, same, if that's, if that's your fave, then do that twice a day. Twitter, you can do three to four times a day. And Snapchat, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Snapchat, you know, it's, it's kind of no rules on Snapchat because they're 10 second videos, so it kind of doesn't matter. Um, so does that make sense? So you just really want to create a strategy and be consistent and stick to your strategy. So why don't you put in the comments which, are, which two you would choose? If you could just do two, what would those two be? I think for me right now, obviously I love Facebook and I'm always going to be doing Facebook. Um, and my second favorite right now is Snapchat just because it's so fun. But for me, that's like a side thing because I know it's not really helping to call it build my business yet. It's just really for, for me, it's fun. I, for me, it's very fun and I, and I like to do things that are fun for me. So Snapchat, I'm definitely doing. And Instagram is the other one that I'm committed to doing. So, um, and, I, and I'm, you've got to have, oh, there's so much to teach. There's so much to teach. I'm going to have to do more videos, right? I'm gonna do more videos about social media because it's important to curate different content. I see people all the time just um, putting their Instagram, Facebook, Instagram posts on Facebook, but it doesn't work that way. It's different content. It's for different people. So it's very interesting. It's important to continue to build relationships with the people that you like and you want to build relationships with on whatever social media platform you're on. Because you don't just post your stuff and then go away and expect people to be there for you. You've got to be involved in the conversations and building those relationships because 
that's what social media is for, is to build a relationship. But anyway, I hope this is helpful tonight. Um, there's so much to talk about with social media, and I love it. I personally love learn learning so much. It's kind of overwhelming at times, so I kind of take it bit by bit, but I'm always trying to figure out like what works on different platforms, and I watch a lot of brands and a lot of businesses to see what people are doing. Um, and so I really learn a lot that way. So I hope this was really helpful for also, you. Also, I want to ask you guys to uh, like my business page, which is just my name, Arian Alexander. If you put it in your search bar on Facebook, you'll find it. It's my business page because I'm going to start doing my Facebook lives from there. Um, there's different things with the algorithms. It's better for me to do it from my business page. So um, I'm just going to switch over there, but I'll put it in the, in the link in the comments too. And um, thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions about social media or anything, just always feel free to private message me or comment. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. And thanks for being here tonight, y'all. I'll see you soon. Nighty night.